Hi, this is Cassandra with Cassie P4C Live just coming through um, to do a tag video. I was tagged. Um, Afro Khadiziac tagged me on her, what is this, the It's My Hair tag. Let me make sure. Uh, but yeah, it's the It's My Hair tag and Afro Khadiziac, I'll link her um, video here. And um, you click that and watch that. But yeah, she tagged me, and I was sitting there looking at the video, and I was enjoying it, and you know, watching like I do YouTube. And she was naming who she's tagging, and then uh, she said, "And Cassie P4C Life," and I was like, "What?" No, she didn't tag me. And my husband was like, "What are you talking about?" I said, "I just got tagged for a video. This is my first time ever being tagged. My other tag, I just voluntarily did it myself because some." You know, I felt like I wanted to answer that tag, um, which I'll do anyway. Whenever I feel like I want to just jump in there and do it, I'll do it. But anywho, so this don't be a long quest, uh, video. It's 19 questions, and it's called, It's My Hair Tag. So let's start with the first question. Um, I started my healthy hair journey. Um, because it was a combination of things. Um, I had just, my last perm I had did was an awful relaxer. I burnt like major parts of my hair where you know how you get a perm burn and it gets all crusty because your scalp is like oozing. So I burnt the mess out of my hair, my last relaxer. And, um, at the same time, I was um, I was also in uh, my bout with depression. I had a bad case of depression where it, it hit me real bad. Um, my daughter had graduated high school. Um, it was time for me to do something to my hair because I kept I didn't perm my hair again after that because that burn was so bad that I was actually scared to relax my hair again so I was on you you know just started looking at YouTube after I burnt my hair I started looking at YouTube and looking at natural hair videos um, and looking at a lot of ladies who uh, you know they they have a lot of videos on their natural hair and I was sitting at home and I was like I need to do something to my hair and I had like this much new growth because I wouldn't perm my hair and I was like, you know, looking at it and seeing the texture and feeling and touching. And I was like, well, you know, I, I never really uh, wore my own natural hair, my God-given hair, you know. And I was in a place where I wanted to be who God wanted me to be and to live uh, my life in His will and the purpose He put me here for. Uh, it was the beginning of that um, point in my life where I wanted to be closer to God because I always had a relationship with God but this time I had like a, a hard urging and just deep wanting uh, to be who he wanted me to be and I was like you know what you don't even look you, you never even seen yourself as God made you you know he didn't make you with the perm and all the weaves and stuff you know he put this person together me and it was beautiful and before I knew it because I saw so many people talking about big chop, big chop. I didn't even grasp the concept of transitioning. <laughs> so, you know, one night afternoon, I was just sitting there and washed my hair and conditioned it and stuff. But I was, knew I was not putting the perm back in my hair. So, I just started taking and measuring where my hair was and cutting away. Cutting away, cutting away till it had about my hair was about this long, which is about what an inch, inch and a half, about that long. It was, it wasn't long at all. Um, so you know, that's what made me start my healthy hair journey. Um, the second question. I've been on my healthy hair journey 
since January 2011. So 2011, 2012, this would be my third year. Now, and question number three. I am natural. Question number four. Um, my hair pretty much stops like right here. On I did a measuring video and I think my hair was like 6 inches and 11 inches in the back. But since then I have cut my, um, trimmed my hair. And I actually took a little bit off the back because the back of my hair grows super long. So it was like, <laughs> I was talking to my mom about this last week it just passed. And I was like, it, was, it grows long in the back and the front slow. And she's like, I was like, I had to cut it because it was just looking, it just wasn't doing right. And, and I have no shape. So she was like, yeah, they used to call it the shag. I was <laughs> What's this to say? A mullet? I was like, no. And I just cut it. So my hair stops about right here on my, what is this? Um... On my, like, right here. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But that's where my hair stops. Question number five. Uh, my goal length is, um, I really don't have a goal length. Now, I would like to have some length. But with the way my hair is growing, you know, I'm going to have to trim the back a lot till the front grows out to the same as the, you know, evens out. Because my bang stop, my front stops like right here on my nose. Maybe to the tip of my nose. But then, you know, when I had my hair, my front was like stopping like almost here in the back in the front here. So it wasn't matching because when, you know, I'm, I have 4C hair. So when it's in its natural state it shrinkage is part of my journey so my front would be like right here and the back would be hanging here and i just didn't like it but um i i would if it's possible for the lord will for me to have some length all well and i'm accepting it but if it just be this like in between length i'm good with that too because i can pull my hair up in a ponytail <laughs> and put my poof on if I want some added length but yeah I don't really have a, a length goal um question number six um my hair is 4C and the reason I think it's 4C is because I did go on the um what is that naturally you know Nikki curly Nikki's thing naturally something I'll put it the name here but I went there and you know how they have the little um, um, part of the website where you can sit there and kind of diagnose because at first I didn't know what I was I thought my hair was going to be like um, put some products in it and then it's going to be all curly and bouncy and pot and that was not my hair so you know after going on um, curlynicky.com um, I saw that my hair texture is 4C and some parts is more looser but majority of my head is 4C um, and I don't have 4Z which is like some pretty thick tightly zigzags all coil mine's is like it's just all over the place coiled up on itself so yeah 4C question number seven I prefer health and I also would want some length but I prefer health um, I, like when I did my last twist out before I cut my hair my hair was all you know it was long and stuff in the back but then I had like these frazzle ends and you know it I guess you know just ends that just wasn't gonna pop back you know or I couldn't save because, you know, the oldest hair is at the end, and it was just not looking good. So, I'd rather cut it off and have healthy hair than frazzled hair. So, health over length, yeah. Question number eight. 
If I could only live with one hair product, what would it be? It would be, um, African Shea Butter. Yeah. I have had that throughout my whole journey. You know, I love the Shea Moisture Curling um, Smoothie. That's one of my staples that I have to have. Um, olive oil, um, coconut oil is a must. But I absolutely have to have my raw shea butter and I make my mix. I have to have that because with everything else, I can figure it out with it. I can, um, you know, moisturize my hair with water and seal it in with the shea butter. Um, question number nine. Uh, the worst product I ever tried... Um, it was some lock stuff. Um, um, it's it's real good. My sister, I gave it to my sister. When I first started out, I got this locking uh, leave-in conditioner. And it made my hair like, it, it wasn't um, crunchy. It made it like poof, like hard. Like, I don't know. But my, I gave it to my sister. It was some locking leave-in and I gave it to her. Um... But yeah, that was the worst product I had in my head. I I tried that once and knew my hair wasn't right. And I was still brand new to all this. Um, but it was specifically for locks. For lock people who lock their hair dreads. And it worked awesome for her, she said. Okay, question number 10. My go-to hairstyle is um, twist out or um, if all else fails, pull it up into a poof, like a afro poof, you know, a poof, yeah, you can always go with a poof, even if a twist out come out bad, pull that bad boy out, put one of them, um, put one of these bands on, have a puff, go to all the time, um, Question number 11. I am a beauty on a budget, so no, I am not a project, uh, product junkie at all. Um, I think in my heart I would be. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Like, in my heart I would be, but thankfully, that's just not the journey the Lord put me on. So no, I'm not a pro uh, product junkie. I do see a lot of products though now. I do look in reviews and, you know, people's stuff and certain things do intrigue me and I will go out and get it, but like gotta have everything. You know, as long as I got me some olive oil, some shea butter, um, some coconut oil, some kind of conditioner and apple cider vinegar, I'm good with those five things. Yeah. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Number 12. So far, I think I trimmed my hair since 2011. I think I trimmed my hair, let's see. I didn't trim, I trim it all in 11. I think I got a video where I trimmed it in 13 last year. And I just recently trimmed it. So a trim, maybe three times I trim my hair, but I do dust my ends when I see that they're, um, you know, all, and when I say, uh, straggly, I mean, like, even if you put, like, uh, moisturizer and then seal it and you twist it, it still, it's just, it just don't act right, it don't hang right, or it feels brittle, I'll cut it off, so, as needed. Okay, so number 13. I do, but right now um, I'm cut back. Um, I usually take biotin. Um, actually, the last time I took biotin, it was in June, I think. So July and August, I haven't took any. I just stopped. Um, because I'm thinking I want to take the hair and hair and nails, the skin, hair, and nails, instead of just the biotin alone. 
Um, but yeah, I take biotin. I was taking biotin about two milligrams a day um, for, I guess, about two years or so. Um, I do take a vitamin A pill, um, and that's just, you know, that's good for immune system, immune system and all that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm on a hiatus with the supplements. Number 14. My favorite oil is coconut. Yeah, I used to say olive oil and tea tree oil, but for real, coconut has become my favorite oil. Number 15. My hair crush. Okay. I love all natural women's hair. I really do. Even the ones who aren't my texture. But if I was to choose um, a hair crush sorter in my group in type 4 hair, it would be... Um, I just saw a video uh, yesterday. Um, Kinky Styles 1980. Oh my goodness. It was her, it's her four year um, being natural. And oh my goodness, that girl's hair. Your hair is so beautiful. Oh, crushing. And it's, it's like it hangs and moves. But then that she pulled it and the thing it's like almost at her waist. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, so in love. But yeah. Um also um long natural hair 17. Um yes, her hair is gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Um, but yeah, those are my crushes like of late. Usually my crush is my own, you know, my own little hair, but I got it twisted up, so I can't talk to her and play with her. Anywho, but otherwise, yes, all women, I have crushes on your hair. I love your hair. I love that you embrace it. I love to see when you do it. Even if you're not my texture, I still support you. But yeah, that's about it for hair crushes. So, number 16... It takes me approximately on wash day about an hour. Yeah. But if I'm going to just sit around and like take a spa day where I'm wrapping it all up and letting conditioners sit, it could take about two hours. Yeah. That's good though because when I first started, it could take me flat up about four hours to do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number 17. <laughs> the worst thing that ever happened to my hair. I don't, I think my hair went through its shedding period because my hair is all thick and pretty and my twist out the bomb. But <laughs> I think like, I don't know if it was the winter, but it had like, it, it just got kind of like, it felt like it was thinning. Um, it wasn't the same. Um, so I tried to go back to the basics with just the, because I was trying a lot of stuff. I saw um, like, you know, people show on their videos within my budget. And I was trying a lot of things instead of just sticking to my one routine that I did ever since I cut my hair off. And my hair didn't like that. So I'm in the process of, you know, just going back to the basics and trying to make her happy so she can be full and healthy. And I'm on a twist journey. Hopefully I'll get some retention and some thickness back in my life. Yeah. That's the worst thing. <laughs> Nature. I don't know. <laughs> um, number 18. Yes, I have dyed my hair. Um, I dyed my hair my whole life as a young woman. Um, blonde was mostly my um dye. Um as of late since I've been natural, I did try to do um, 
like highlights and get like some golden blonde up in there once last summer and it didn't take it all I used that uh, go intense didn't work y'all see the video um, I'll link it here um, I also dye it again um, like uh, after the go intense didn't work I let it wait a while and then I did like this kind of dark arborish it wasn't like red but it had like hints of red in it and that was real pretty but uh, my hair I just didn't feel like doing it again it's kind of dry plus my gray hair comes right back I dyed my hair and I think like two weeks later it was it, it, the wisdom was right here again and I was like really so I've decided what I'm gonna do next is instead of dye with the chemicals um, I'm going to try the henna because it's supposed to be natural and it's supposed to also be conditioning to your hair. Um, so I might try that. That might be my next venture in color. Otherwise, I don't know y'all, I might be ending up like my mom. My mom has, um, silver hair. Because if y'all look, I know when y'all see when I turn around in my videos and stuff, I have a lot of white wisdom. A lot of wisdom come up in there. You see it everywhere. So I made peace with it though. But I think I will try one more time to see if this henna thing is really what it do. It's supposed to stuff color in there and stay in there. So then I'll just have to do like maybe a treatment in between, which would be conditioning and awesome for my hair. And I could stay a dark colored girl for a while. Otherwise, um, Wisdom's going to take over and it's just going to be what it is. <laughs> uh, number 19. I tag. Who I'm tagging, I'm tagging. I hope you haven't done it or um, been called out. But if not, yeah. Chocolate Sweet Soap 7. Trey Dama 4. Hey, T. Um... Sherry Anderson, she's a makeup artist, but she's also a natural girl. Um, Kinky Styles, 1980, and I know you probably did a story on, uh, you know, but I don't know if you did the my, it's my, um, it's my hair, the it's my hair tag. So I'm calling you out too, because you got all that beautifulness going on, all you ladies do. Um, Miss K Marie, 93. And I say, uh, you because I love your hair. Um, Evolutions of Beauty, 68. And One Lady T. Because we're like, kind of, our hair is kind of like sisters, similar sisters, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just thought about it. It ain't all got to be about our natural sisters. This is the healthy hair journey. So I'm going to also ask, um, tag the Masterminder SM, Kina, I'm going to tag you, um, and I'm going to tag Thick Chick Vlogs, and she is natural, but I know Kina, you're not, but your hair is always looking good, so I'm going to tag you too. Yes! Okay, and... Last but not least, I am going to tag Misguided Girl 4. Yes, hunty. See, Pam, me and Pam, you got me saying hunty and yes. That is all you. And <laughs> for watching your videos, I'm doing that. But yes, ma'am, I am calling you Misguided um, Girl 4. Yep. All right, and that is it. I'm not going to tag anybody else because I know I'm going to, I don't, I don't want to be on the list for tags because I'm tagging so many people but it's just people I, 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 I it just came to my head so I'm, I'm calling your name so yeah I'll be looking forward to seeing your videos so that's who I tag and I am done I hope it didn't take too long I hope you guys stick around um afro -cadesiac. I hope everything's going well with your math course. I can't wait to see you back on in September. I miss you and your videos. So cute, cool, and chic. Um, but thank you for tagging me. It was fun. I enjoyed doing this. 
and of course um any comments questions or concerns you know put it down in that comment box and i'll be right at you yes i will and um i don't know um men pam have you done this tag if you ain't do this tag do this tag yes i love your video <laughs> i be feeling like you're talking to me yes auntie yes i love it i love it so i'm adding you to the list too if you haven't done it yet to all my beautiful ladies out there if you want to do it do this tag too because i will watch it also so yeah that's gonna be it guys i am out of here i'm feeling quite I don't know, festive, yeah, but, um, I am gonna get off of here, so, y'all stay blessed, have a beautiful day.